Well, Pastor Robert J. Morgan is sitting down with me today. You all know him as a guest on Christ and Prophecy TV and as a writer who has produced how many books now, Pastor Morgan? Well, we say 35. 35, yeah. Well, that's probably a, a, a low number because it, you've been a part of others. It is a low number, but you know, there's ancillary products that come out oh, yes. and it's, it's hard to, to really begin to calculate. You are a prolific author because the Lord has given you a great gr gift of communicating, both as a pastor and now as a writer, and you have been faithful in that, but I know you have been working on a, a book that's about to come out even mm -hmm. as we record this episode. Yeah, it's called Whatever Happens, and the subtitle is Staying Strong in Your Faith When the World is Falling Apart. Mm. And it's based on the book of Philippians. Uh, the key verse to Philippians is Philippians chapter 1, verse 27. It really begins the body of the book, and it says, Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ so that whether I come to see you or only hear about you, I will know that you are standing firm in one spirit, not intimidated by those who oppose you. So that's the theme of Philippians. And uh, there are other sub-themes like joy and, and, and some wonderful verses there. But I go through the book of Philippians. I've been studying Philippians for a half century. Wow. So I go through it paragraph by paragraph. Uh, pulling out very practical lessons of what it means to stand firm. And what the, the interesting thing is that Paul did not know what was going to happen to him. He was um, facing trial. This is uh, one of the prison epistles. He was going before a, uh, a court in Nero's imperial government in Rome, and he thought he would be released. He anticipated that he would, but he didn't know. And he kept saying, whatever happens. He mm. says that a number of times, whether I live or whether I die. Uh, this is when he said to live as Christ, to die as gain. I don't know what's going to happen. He didn't know the future. Mm. The Apostle Paul didn't even know his own future, let alone the future of the church in Rome or the church of Jesus Christ or the world. But he said, whatever happens, here is what to do. And you know, that's the message. That's a tremendous message because I think a lot of people don't want to consider what will happen in the future and so they don't really steal themselves to be so grounded in their faith mm -hmm. that whatever happens I will not be shaken I will not be stirred and yet we know and we can trust that everything is according to the will of God mm -hmm. we recently studied and talked about Daniel and in the opening two verses of Daniel he said it was the will of God for my nation to be destroyed and for me to be mm -hmm. carted off into exile those are horrific occurrences mm -hmm. but he still was determined to trust in the Lord. And that is, that is bold faith, for sure. Well, we know what's going to happen ultimately. We know about the return of Christ. We know about the New Jerusalem. We know about all of those things ultimately, which gives us peace. But in the short term, we don't know what's going to happen with the United States. We don't know what's going to happen with our various elections. We don't know what's going to happen with the state of the geo uh, geopolitical uh, crises that are occurring. Mm. Uh, we don't even know what's going to happen with our own family or with our health or with the world economy or with the U.S. economy. We just don't know these things. But whatever happens, we can conduct ourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. What a tremendous testimony. And, and frankly, you have lived that because you mentioned family or health. Some of our viewers today are going through crises of health or crises within their family. You told us even previously how your wife has gone ahead to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so that's a tremendous loss in this life. But you said, I look forward to being, yeah. re being reunited with her and the Lord. So again, having the long view puts even these momentary tragedies into perspective. It does. I have pictures of Katrina up all over the house. If, I, if they made me sad, I really think I would take most of them down. Um, and she's, she passed away from multiple sclerosis and, and complications in, in 2019, and, and she's in heaven. But when I see those pictures, and I think it's just the blessing of God, uh, but I think back of the wonderful times we had, and I look forward to the times we're going to have. And so it doesn't make me sad. It, it gives me joy on both occasions, yes. uh, particularly the looking forward. Uh, the <laughs> last thing that I said to her as she was passing away, I whispered in her ear, and I said, you go on to sleep, and when we both wake up, um, or when we're both in heaven, we'll take a walk hand in hand by the Crystal River. Mm. And I made that date with her, just like I made a date with her when we were, you know, when we first met. And, and I intend to keep it. You would. But, and, and, I, and I anticipate that. I, look, I can visualize it. 
and it gives me a lot of joy. So, so the Lord gives us tremendous hope, and the book of Philippians is full of joy, it's full of hope, it's full of Christ, it's full of courage, it's full of these things, but against the awareness that in the short run we don't always know what's going to happen. What a tremendous testimony that is. I had a sister who, who lost a little boy, mm -hmm. uh, born right here in Tennessee, and it was a momentary tragedy that lasts for mm -hmm. an ache the rest of her mm -hmm. life. And yet even her neighbors who were not believers said, how can you have such peace in the midst of this great loss? And she said, oh, let me tell you, not how, but who. Mm -hmm. Who can give me that peace? And it became an opportunity to share testimony. And so, Robert, you continue to share living testimony of your faith in the one who is our blessed hope. And frankly, even as we look forward to his coming, we are assured a crown of righteousness credited to us by mm -hmm. him. And so uh, I'm sure you will have many crowns and Miss Katrina already is uh, wearing some. Well, before. I, I don't know about me, but I, I think she will. And uh, I know I, you'll have the crown of righteousness because <laughs> you're anticipating the Lord's return. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And I hope this book will encourage many people. We have a study guide to go with it. It'd be uh, a, a tremendous uh, book for small group studies. Whatever happens is the name of it. And uh, Whatever happens. Uh, and I hope it'll be a great encouragement. To How can our viewers get a copy of that book, or where would they be able to connect with your ongoing ministry? Yeah, well, you can get a copy of the book wherever you buy your books, but uh, we have copies available as, as well as other resources at my website, robertjmorgan.com. Well, Rob, you always give me encouragement. Uh, you exude hope and joy. And so for that, I thank you, but I praise the Lord for you. You are welcome. Thank, thank you so much, my brother. Thank you, brother. Godspeed.